Well, hello everyone. This is Gladys again, and uh, to continue with our Disney theme uh, large photo album. Pardon my uh, voice. Uh, I think I'm going hoarse or something. I'm not sick or anything like that. It's just my voice decided to take a vacation. So I hope you can hear me okay. Last time we spoke, we had already put the two pieces of paper and you know front and the back of our book and our spine is still naked so this is what it looks it should look inside by now because we haven't done anything yet but <clears throat> I already cut this uh, piece of paper that measures let me see right now it measures seven I'm sorry um, eleven and three quarters by six and this is, I don't have to really put it in here because this is going to be the cover one. Uh, and this is like faux leather, you know. Uh, but I just like to put that reinforcement there. It just makes me feel, I don't know, like it. any little extra layer on the spine um, could be a, a good thing. So, so what I'm going to do is, is just center it. And I'm just going to eyeball it. No, no um, you know, it doesn't have to be exact. It's going to be cover, remember. So... Let me move these pieces of glue that is coming out here. Okay, I'm not sure if I'm in frame, but it's really hard to get it in frame because of the size of the book. All right, so there it is. Now I'm going to burnish <clears throat> just right here. And, and if you notice, I'm not burnishing on the sides yet because the reason for that is let me lift this up. I guess I got a little too close. Um, we, oops, I'm dropping things. I need to start folding this in a natural way, and then I can, then I can, you know, go ahead and burnish this size. Same thing with the other one. We'll go slow, and it works with you once you once you've already trained the paper, so it looks really nice. Okay, so we could. Uh, leave it like this and that could be the you know the cover for your spine I am I like to use things like if I have leather I would use leather but I do buy this type of material um, on Etsy there's different places that um, they sell this is upholstery material so it's very heavy duty and very nice out of all the ones this is the less um, engraved this is more like a um, leather look-alike the other ones have uh, very engraved um, designs and obviously it's, uh, it's plastic but um, I wanted to have that leather look over here on this book because we are making a very vintage uh, look for it so I'll tell you what this measures this one measures uh, let's see exactly 12 by 7 so 12 by 7 would be the piece that we're going to put right over this okay and what we're going to do first is fill it up with um, tape so get your wide um, score tape I'm gonna get I'm gonna get the one is two and a half wide and without missing any piece just right right to the edge <clears throat> This allows it for this full leather to adhere to the wall of the spine of the book with no problems whatsoever. And I'm going to go here right to this edge and this edge too. All right, and in the middle I'll go ahead and do a different side. But before I put that piece in here, I'm just going to making sure that that, you know, the, the glue gets activated within the material. All right, I am going to remove just this one so I am able to put the other piece in the middle. All right, and this one I believe is the one inch. It's just enough so I can, I feel comfortable that no piece was, you know, left. Leave no stone untouched or unturned, you know. All righty, so there it is. Let me just burnish that too. All right, and now we're going to rem uh, remove the backing. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to cut these pieces just because I don't want to take any chance on um, their getting into touching other papers that it, they shouldn't be. All right, let's clean that up. I hope you guys are getting interested in, in uh, making this video. 
Um, even if you don't have little ones and or you never gone to Disneyland, I'm sure you have family members who have. And it can really make um, a very special, you know, gift. Whoever gets one of these is a gift. That's a person that is loved. All right. So that's good right there. So now it's just a matter of removing the tape or the back of the tape. And we are going to adhere it to the, uh, to the spine of the book. All right. There it is. All right, and here <clears throat> we have to be very careful that um, that we have equal amounts on both sides. So the equal amount over here and then over here. And I pretty much eyeball it always. Oops. I have extra little tape pulling out there, and I don't want that to become an issue. I think I like this other side. There's always one side that is cut better than the other one. So... I am going to just eyeball it here and I say it's right there and then naturally let it fall and you see it really does stick to the book and then we're going to just trim in here let me see it is stick yeah it's a little crooked so I'm just going to trim this just a tiny bit it's kind of difficult once it's filled with glue it doesn't want to work with you as much but we'll just try our best Okay, let me see if I can. No, it doesn't. Okay, so we'll just do it this way, and I will try to trim it as much as I can from here. There. Oh, that was easier. Just making sure that I'm not touching the, you know, the bottom paper, and I didn't. So it all went smooth. All right, and let's see on this side. Very nice. And that's the bottom part of the book anyway, so if there's a little bit of, uh, you know, whatever, it's, it's not too, too bad. So we're good. I did want it to leave. I should have brought it up all the way to the edge myself, but that's okay. It kind of goes with the theme, so it doesn't, it's not going to kill me. So there it is. You know, your spine is completely covered and it's very resistant. Um, it, this book can become a weapon now because it'll be so heavy by the time you finished that um, it's nice so at this point if you guys wanted to do any decorating um, onto your spine of the book I know a lot of people put um, either eyelids or things like that well I, I thought about it but I think I'm going to resist <laughs> the idea just because this book is going to be busy enough I don't need to add anything else and uh, now what we have to do is continue uh, working on the book by making um, our spine or the, the hidden hinge spine we did it yesterday we scored a piece that is uh, 12 by 11 and 3 quarters or 11 and a half what did I say? It's in, the, it's in the last video. You'll see it there. Then you start scoring at 1 and 3 eighths. Oh, let's see. 1 and 3 eighths? Or 1 and 5 eighths? I don't... If you want, you can go back and watch the video. I can't practically remember right now. So you do the first one and then another half an inch and do another score. Another half an inch and score. And then you count 3 eighths of an inch and then score. So it equals 2 of half an inch together and then one of three of an eighth so two two one two two one that's the sequence that you're going to follow until the whole thing it's um you know scored once this is scored it doesn't matter which end you choose either one it always starts and ends with a half an inch so i always start really there's no no rhyme or reason as long as you start in the first half an inch you're going to skip the next half an inch and then you're going to skip the next three eighths of an inch then you're going to put tape on the on the next um 
a half an inch. So they have to look like this. You know, if you have this uh, sequence, you notice that they go up, they're spaced evenly. So if you notice that you put your tape somewhere in here, well, something went wrong, right? So we have to make sure we do that. So on the first half an inch, this is the quarter of an inch tape. That's what I used. Then I skip one half and I skip three eighths. Then I'll do the other half, the other, the other half an inch. Or actually, is every first half an inch. You know, that's how it's going to go. Once we have it this way, we're going to start folding, and every fold is going to be between the two half an inches. Okay, that three eighths um, of an inch is actually just for the gusset. So I'm going to start with that right there and then I'm gonna turn it this way just to make sure that the paper kind of remembers and now I'm going to remove the first tape and let it pull together now this is when I turn it over and bring it down completely this is what's going to give you the pleat you see that let me see if I can there it is you can see it then I you know I move it both ways because I do want to make sure that um, you know that it's flat all the way down and that's how it looks in the back so you're creating pleats always um, fold between the two half an inches and here is again and now we turn it right side up and bring it down right down and then you start folding this way and then that way so there's our second pleat right there and we'll do another one in front of you. I'm going to just drain the paper first. Then I can remove my um, the tape backing. And there it is. And I'll turn it side up. Bring it all the way down, holding the pleat down. And then flip it this way. And then go the other way. So here, here you have it. You're having this nice, even spaces between them, which is one uh, three-eighths of an inch. And in the back, it's starting to look very straight, too. So that's a good way of kind of re rechecking yourself. Okay, let's strain the paper first. Then we remove the tape and put the two half an inches together. Once they're done, bring it down to the floor on the right side of the paper and fold it this way and fold it on the opposite way you see it's really becoming very very um, even and in the back it looks nice and clean okay next one we're gonna fold in between oops in between those two half an inches i'm gonna train the paper first by just burnish it with my hand remove the tape backing and by itself it's gonna go back to that um, area just because we train or burnish the paper ahead of time it really is quite busy it just looks you know quite complicated but it's not okay let's train the paper first so that it, and we'll remove the backing put those together bring it side up right side up and then bring it down this way and then opposite too Look at that. See, even. And we have one more. So, we'll full. Sorry about that interruption. I had to kind of open it up and fix it. Uh, but anyways, here it is. All nice and even, evenly spaced. Our next step would be to fill this, the back of this hinge, completely, completely filled with um, score tape. And that's what we're going to do. So it's going to be the wrong side is this. That will be the right side up. All right. So we'll fill it up. If you want to, you can pause the video so you can, so you can, um, you know, see it a little better. This is uh, Kathy Orta's famous um, hidden hinge binding system for books i love it that woman is a genius and it works really good really good you know it, it takes a little bit of practice but definitely once you know this you are a fan for life okay 
and what I'm going to do is remove this tape from here so I'm able to put a little extra tape in this area that didn't get to get tape because this is very important that this panel is completely filled, covered with tape. This is what's going to be holding your pages. So yeah, we want to make sure they're completely, completely straight. At this point, we're also going to do this. We're going to eyeball it. And what I'm going to do first is just clean it up on top. So if you have a little extra tape, this is the time to clean it up. We can always clean it later, but why do it later when you can do it now? And it gives you a better view of the book, and you're able to, I don't know, see better where it's going. Okay. There it is. Okay, so I will remove the tape backing. There it is. I do hope you guys are enjoying the, you know, the tutorial and that I'm explaining myself correct correctly. Um, oh, and I totally have forgotten to tell you, I, <laughs> I broke my toe last night after filming the video. I, um, um, I went to ER actually because I had a, I had a like in the onset of a bad migraine. So by, I don't know, two three in the morning we were in ER with that. They they, they took care of the migraine and they sent me home. Obviously, just getting home, I hit myself on my the post of my bed, and it hurt so so bad. But you know, I just went to sleep. And by the time I woke up, that toe was black. I mean, completely black and swollen. And there was no chance I was going to go to ER. So I went to the urgent care center. And yep, it's broken. So now I'm, I have a special shoe now. And you know, when it doesn't rain, it pours with me. But that's okay. It keeps my life interesting. <laughs> All right, let's get back to our book. This is the way it should look in the back, filled with, you know, tape. And I use that tape because it's very strong, too. So, between your first hinge and the last one, you are going to, you know, center it between these two um, gussets right here. And you also need to know, like, front, bottom, and top, how much space do you have. So, you're going to center top to bottom and side to side. And I'm going to move this back a little bit. I hope my big old head is not in the way. But I really, really got to see for this. To see that I know what I'm just to pretend that I know that what I'm doing and I'm not going to burnish it yet because I want to control the other side and this is my time if I need to move it one way or another this is the time for me to do it and now I can burnish I'm not gonna burnish this side but I am going to go inside every row of the hidden hinge binding system each one and this allows the tape to become very very strong uh, to the book and now I'm going to kind of fold it here little by little let me get my bone folder and I'm going to use the thick side not the not the side that is very you know thin or they can um, cut my paper just so I can you know help the paper to see where the gusset is and if I train the paper I avoid the possibility of you know ripping the paper we don't want that so let's see and there it is it didn't tear the paper because we took that ex extra precaution all right so let me do this again too and this one try to get that gusset going or there we go and here nice and firm and there is your book. Let me show you. See how it looks now? Then from there we're going to be putting, you know, our pages together. So if I fold it this way, you're able to see the album. This is the front of the album. The spine. And obviously the back. So we haven't done anything in the front. But our next step is to create... Um, our pages or main pages first and then try to see what other coverings I'm going to use for this side so I'm gonna get ready get some papers um, going in some measurements and I'll be right back with you